Nintendo recently revealed new details about its upcoming console, the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch takes console gaming to a whole new level by adding detachable controllers and an exciting new way to play portable gaming. This magic is a big reason why Nintendo is unique. They continue to find ways to delight the gaming community, be it genre-defining video games or innovative hardware. With this in mind, here are some of the biggest surprises in Nintendo's history. Hello. Our jaws dropped the moment we went to Toys R Us to play Super Mario 64 back in 1996. It was the perfect game to launch alongside the N64, built from the ground up to take advantage of the powerful next-gen hardware and its revolutionary controller's analog stick. We spent much time exploring Princess Peach's castle and doing silly things like climbing up trees. Then we donned the wing cap so Mario could take flight an unforgettable moment. Super Mario 64 is more than a classic game. It helped usher in the 3D revolution on consoles, and is a must-play for every Nintendo fan. Speaking of 3D games... Nintendo isn't afraid to take its beloved franchise in bold directions. Perfect example, Metroid Prime for the GameCube. Instead of creating a 2D adventure similar to Super Metroid on the SNES, Nintendo and developer Retro Studios capitalized on the 3D craze to transform Bounty Hunter Samus Aran's GameCube debut into an incredible first-person shooter that spawned two sequels. The best part? Fans also received that 2D game, Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance, which debuted on the same day as Metroid Prime. Best of both virtual worlds. Hundreds of people packed into Nintendo's 2004 E3 press conference to catch a glimpse of the company's Game Boy Advance successor. None of us knew what to expect. So when Reggie calmly pulled out the DS from his coat pocket, minds were blown. Initially, we were worried that it would be too difficult to pay attention to both the top and bottom screen at the same time. But then we got our hands on the system and this concern was quickly laid to rest. Touchscreen gameplay had arrived. Nintendo's decision to forego a mature Zelda game for something that looks more like a Disney film is still talked about to this day. After showing off gorgeous footage of Link battling Ganondorf in 2000, with an art style that mimicked the beloved Ocarina of Time, the company went in a vastly different direction with cel shaded graphics and a character overhaul of the series hero, Link. But The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker is more than a unique looking video game. Instead of riding a horse across Hyrule Fields, Nintendo invited players to sail the ocean in a talking boat. Which kind of makes sense for Nintendo. There was plenty of criticism, but Nintendo stood firm. The result? The Wind Waker is a must-have for the Nintendo GameCube, and is easily one of our favorite video games of all time. Meanwhile, Toon Link became a fixture in Nintendo's character lineup, and went on to star in such games as the acclaimed Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap and Super Smash Bros. Hands down, the Wii Remote is the biggest surprise in Nintendo history. Whereas the N64 and GameCube controllers felt like an evolution of the previous Nintendo gamepads, the Wiimote was unlike anything the world had seen. How exactly would we play video games with a TV remote? Of course, Nintendo made everything clear leading up to the Wii system launch, and skeptical consumers embraced the controller the second they played Wii Sports and the rest of the console's incredible lineup of games, which includes Super Mario Galaxy, Boom Blocks, and Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. What do you think is one of Nintendo's biggest reveals? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. And for more content like this, be sure to head over to primagames.com.